this, guys. Isn't this cool? We've got a red-billed hornbill that's caught a scorpion. And by the looks of it, it looks like glabrifrons, which is one of the bigger scorpions that we get here. And look how it's maiming it. So what it does is it breaks the tail, tries to get rid of the tulsin, and then it will rip off the pincers and try and get rid of those weapons before it will then be able to eat said scorpion. Now, unfortunately, there's one of the guys has got to get somewhere because there is a little surprise. He's going to try to go around for us. Hopefully, our bird will stay where it is. No, it has stayed. Well done, Hornbill. Thank you very much, Peter. Peter is trying to get somewhere quite quickly, which, like I said, there is a surprise that is not too far away from here. But, well, this is just so cool. It's not something you're going to see every day and it is amazes me how these hornbills are able to get such a big insect down and you can see look at the damage it's done with that beak already it's already managed to break off bits and to get rid of the tail as well as the pincers and soon that's going to be swallowed pretty much whole now the other reason why I said I was rushing is because there is a leopard not even a hundred meters from where I am so solely going northwards towards Gari Main. So I don't want to go too late. I'm just listening carefully because if she crosses north to find her again it's going to be very difficult. So I'm hoping that our hornbill will finish up before our leopard crosses and that timing will be absolutely perfect. No, nope. Well there's a little piece that's going down. So you see as it breaks off pieces it will swallow those as well. But isn't this cool? That is very cool. I might be wrong on the actual ID of the scorpion itself. I'm just going to have a look with my binoculars. Now, one person who loves scorpions is Scott Dyson. And I remember when I was young, when I was just starting out, I went on a drive with Scott when I was still learning. And at the start of the drive, and I'm not sure if Scott remembers this, but at the start of the drive, we ended up going and looking for through a whole bunch of rocks and eventually we managed to find a scorpion that actually looks very similar to this one which is a liver peas and the liver peas he then put in his pocket and we did our entire game drive with a scorpion inside Scott's front left pocket on his up against his chest the scorpion didn't so much as move until we got to the night when then he could show the guest the scorpion with the luminous light that or the luminosity that it displays when a UV light is shone on them so it was really quite cool and I'll never forget that because I remember the guest looking at Scott as though he was completely mad and who drives around with a scorpion in their pocket so I don't know if Scott remembers that day and I actually even remember the exact place it was it was just off the sand river on the eastern side of Singita Lodge so it was a nice little rocky outcrop that we had there which was great for going on scorpion hunts and remember fondly Scott being very fond of scorpions but let's see if it goes down no, there we go no it's still too much in the way of food so I'm going to try and see if it's going to actually swallow this I'm going to try the other way around no I'm going to have to break off that one pincer before it actually is small enough to get in very hot you asking is this an emperor scorpion no I don't know if it's called an emperor scorpion it's a thick tailed it's not the thick tailed burrowing scorpion now I'm now I'm getting myself confused but it's not an emperor scorpion its original name well its scientific name is a pisticanthus liver peas which is I must just now try see if I can find the common name this sometimes does happen when you've sort of looked at scientific names for scorpions because they're much easier to ID during this using scientific names because people tend to assign all kinds of names to scorpions and it's easier with the scientific ones to follow who's who's well who is who should I say so I'm just trying to pull up a chart that I've got somewhere that tells me about the different scorpion common names I just can't remember where I've put it it was on my phone oh is it down it doesn't look as though it's all the way down. No. There we go. And down it goes. Well done, Hornbill. That was cool. We've had some great bird behavior today, from scorpions being swallowed to fish eagles being dive bombed. It really is so cool.
Now I'm going to try and find the common name for the scorpion that was just eaten. And while we do that, I believe Taylor has two of my favorite antelope and they seem or also the smallest antelope that we get here. 